<laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's it's really bad. It's awful. It's awful what's going that goes on in that place. And um we uh, I mean people talk about uh maybe we should bring it to a regional thing. There's nothing no such thing as regional, nothing. The best solution is break it down. There's no we cannot be part of an entity called Nigeria. No. It doesn't work, it's cursed, it's designed to be a failure and only benefit those the you know the so-called leaders are the puppets and the real master is the Britain. Yep. You know, and uh you know it's what I mean? West. So mm -hmm. yes, and the West. So no matter what, it's not going to be fixed. I was talking to somebody two days ago in New York City. Right. I just listened to him, he just talked and talked and talked. My God, I tell you, like for 30 minutes, he just kept talking. You know, uh, how yeah, how we should be together. I know you guys suffered, you know, but, you know, uh, if we could get rid of these leaders, we could actually make this place better. I, was, I asked them, so why is the re what's the reason why you're in America right now? Why is the reason why I'm in America right now? Hmm. It's because if our place was good, we all would have been in, back there. We wouldn't have ventured out. That's right. You know? So, and he just recently, and then he was telling me how he worked in the government in Abuja, and then uh, they did something, and then he bought a property, and then they end up trying to take his property and things like that. Mind you that he yeah, even have really paperwork for him. it. Mm -hmm. It happened to him, but still, it happened to him, but some of these people, you have to understand that they suffer from uh, PTSD. Mm -hmm. they, you think they're on the right uh, page with you as you're reasoning with them. In, in one second, they switch back to that old mentality and um, actually propping up for a better Nigeria. So I also asked, asked them like this, either you for it or, or you're not for it or yeah, for the breakup for it. There's no in between. Yeah, there's no in between because you've been, we've gone through this for over 60 something years. It hasn't gone further. We haven't even moved up you know, where we could say, yeah, we have progress. Rather, we is um we digressing and going back. Because, no. you know, hmm. if we've done that, if you've done your uh, your research, even before they amalgamated um, the, uh, the entity called Nigeria in 1914, even before that, it was still bad. Hmm. It's just now that we're more aware of what's going on and we're doing our research. Yeah. The proof is in the pudding. Nothing has changed about Nigeria. It's still the same thing. It's just another year. The same nonsense. Same crooks. Same tribalism. Same religious, you know, daddy geos. Everybody's a mafia there. You know? So let's stop talking about, you know, doing this. We need to break that place up. And it's actually breaking in its, in front. Tinubu leaves the country, doesn't tell anybody. And then, boom. We, 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 you know, we have people watching. We have eyes all over now. It's not like before, you know, where they could just say anything and get away with it. Yeah. We have social media. We have our phone. Our phone is the most powerful tool ever. It is. So they could sneak out the country. Man. Yes. Especially for yes. Me, supposedly from Nigeria, uh, making use mm -hmm. of uh, the internet and social media, it is the greatest invention that if we embrace it, our liberty, our freedom can actually be secured through it. And I am ready to use it myself, push it to the limits until we all agree to do something we've not done before. Break up the contraption. Yes. Try something new. Yes. Hmm. Yes, we have to because there's no, it's not working. It's insanity for us to keep trying the same thing over and over, uh, expecting, That's right. you know, so we, we must, like, just come to our, our senses. Yes, the people there are damaged. Their minds have been damaged. PTSD, they have done so much, you know? But one way or another, this thing is going down, and they better be prepared. If not, they're going to be put on the, way, on, the, on the wayside, and we're going to keep moving forward because this thing cannot go on longer. They cannot play with people's lives any longer, you know? It's costing us so much money here in diaspora, sending money back there. Every it's, it's never enough. 
it's never enough. You send money for to help somebody. Oh, let me start a business. You start a business next month. Boom, it's all gone. Yeah. Oh, There's a story. Mom, There's always a story. To keep them in business. Can you imagine? How do you live like that? You yes, keep pumping and pumping and pumping and pumping and pumping. Nothing. You know? What kind of life is this? My good, let me let you go. I know other people want to call in. Thank I just want to touch you. base with you. It's good to hear from you. Good to see you. Thank Keep you. up the good work. My man. regards to the family. Thanks, man. Yes. You have a good day. All right, later. And I appreciate that super chat as well, right? God bless yes, you. Yes, no man. problem, man. I got you. Thank people, you. hit the like button, man. Come on. We can't be 1,200 people on here and only have six, 630 likes. Come on, people. That's what it is. People are always very much economical with their likes. So well, I, I'll manage the one they've given already. You have a good one yourself, okay? So I am going to uh, take my last call, and then okay. we can call it a night. Uh, it's a... Uh, when I first started my Yogun's Diary Political, that uh, we, uh, you know, we'll go live like this. Let me give you this background quickly. I have dealt with uh, a lot of different people, right? There are people who feels like what I am doing is a waste of time from the world go. I never saw it that way. Even though I have, I kind of never probably envisage the time will come and I'm going to have a lot and a lot of disciples like this who dedicate their times, hours to share with me every, almost every day, right? Well, I used to have to have, uh, you know, uh, people called the jibers, right? Who just come around to, you know, usually, I mean, it, from the, I mean, from the beginning, there were those who felt like I was wasting away my life. I should go get a, uh, are busy and just ignore all of these things. Then they will come here and say, oh, Baba, you know, leave this Nigeria, Jared, leave this Nigeria issue, Jared, just face your life. So initially, I kind of felt pretty much like, or should I say, like from that moment, I felt, I knew then that people who said that to me, it's not because they liked me. It's not because they cared about me. It was because they probably saw what I didn't see. That if this guy should continue, he may end up uh, igniting something bigger than him that he himself have no clue or idea of yet. This was years ago. So they would come around like they were advising me, like they care so much for me. But meanwhile, all they were doing was just to make sure that uh, they bond, I mean, they, they, they off that uh, light, they off that uh, burning light inside. Because if you look straight into my eyes, right, you can see that burning desire of somebody who wanted something to change, who wanted something better than what we have been, or what we have been offered. Then another set of drivers came. Those ones started uh, taking note of the way I, uh, you know, talk or the way I speak. So to them, I wasn't speaking uh, correct English. <laughs> so they would be dear, you are all this, your nonsense English that is uh, all this English, all these sentences, all this, yeah, 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 yeah. I wasn't swayed because they were called jivers, people to make you feel like you are not worth it. Whatever it is that is driving you is pure, you know, go and get a life. I'm talking about people who have no life, who had no life. Yeah. So they projected that on me. Like they projected the fact that uh, they are miserable people and they are low lives. So they were interested in my word usage, my sentences, my this and that and all of that. But I also got them and I got rid of them, which is I overcame them. And another set came that were wondering, why are people kind of listening to this guy? This guy is just using you. And they're like, how is he using us? He's expressing himself. He's talking about all the vices that affect every one of us, whether now or it's going to be later. So they will drop all their comments in my, in my program. They will drop different comments so make that. So when I read that, the comments, they never really get to me, but I always respond. 
And when I responded, I always kind of get back to them in a very harsh way. Then another set of ajibas came. Those ones were those called the doubting planters. So they will plant doubts in the comments because they know you are all going to read the comments. And there are those who probably feel the same way, but they don't know how to say it. So once they put that, uh, that this one is a Yoruba man. This guy is working for, this guy is being paid by, now some people, they pay this guy. Yo. I know this guy. Yo. They don't know me. I don't know them. But they usually kind of, this, this were the early days, early years. So. Then when that didn't work, then they started coming for me directly. You know, like, why do you want to divide the people? Why are you asking people to stand up? And why don't you come back and do it for them? That also didn't work. Because at the end of the day, eh, Nigeria always gives me reason to come here every night to remind all of you that if you are not a victim yet, you are going, it's a matter of time, you're going to be a victim. But over time, the victims themselves started coming onto this program to give their testimonies. My Yogun, what you just said happened to my sister. That thing you just said right now happened to my family. Do you know that? What you, you know what I mean? Now, all of this, eh, they kept giving me the reasons why eh, I can't really stop until something is achieved. So when I see jibers, when I see those who kind of want to come into the midst of people and want, you know, scatter it. I later learned that the best is to get rid of them. They have no use. They have no nothing. These are just people that will prefer nothing is done, nothing is said. Let's keep the status quo the way it is because there's nothing we can do. Nothing we can do. We can, we can cry from today till tomorrow. Nothing will change. But they are surprised that uh, people are becoming more and more aware and they are interested in changing a lot. And for somebody like me, eh, until I drop dead, right, I won't stop until I see that thing change. I strongly believe in that, by the way. So on this, uh, on this note, I'm going to take my last call this evening. And I hope you are still there. Are you? I day here. No shaking, Baba. Now, this time around, you try. This is Prince JJ <laughs> Man, the Prince. Yes, sir. Finally. Representing IPUB for life. Five. So how are you tonight, Baba? Bye -bye, so I just day, needed day, to remind day. anyone who comes onto my program that uh, now I have disciples. I have people who have actually really been on this journey with me for years. Yes, yes. So before so, you come on here to see anything about my ego, be careful. There are those that so, will take it faster, so. even than me. And you can Bye -bye. plant any doubts in the midst of my brethren in my temple here. So. You can no longer uh, point uh, any dirty finger at me without uh, people yes. actually like uh, sending cut the finger now. your way. They go help and cut the finger. God bless you. Prince JJ man. Yes, Baba. Well done, no? Thanks, man. Best way say, best way say you know they do and well. The two way they you do know get no. head. Uh -huh. the, uh, it go bring a head, go put inside. Then the thing will get head. Good. You understand? So... Um, like, um, as uh, thank you, thank you so your... much, anyway. I know, but yeah. here we are, yeah. Prince. As I grab your talk, you said, and got a talk, then got a shop, mm -hmm. okay? So, and I think where they there, get people where they see their talk, where the matter how the things they go, they go see, find one fault where they go, just to talk, make them say, just feel like, you know. Uh, you know. Mm. This is not worth it, but to people like us, it's actually worth it if it's going to take our lifetime to achieve it. But, but I want to know. thank you. I want to thank you for your consistency, Jare. Bless you. You know, um, I want to thank uh, Mazen and the Kano. God bless him too for his own consistency. You know, there's one thing that the the so-called North, especially the their front uh, uh, men. Which is the uh, Fulani uh, that represent them? What, there's something they found out now that uh, IPOB is an institution. Yes. So if um, if um, 
soldier go, soldier come, barrack, they wait there. So, okay. So, you see, now they are they are not thinking of, uh, of restructuring. You know, even though they, they come and go off and on, they are not steady. They don't know what they want because they believe that Nigeria is their is their host so as the parasite they will continue to drink the blood you know now the people that they've um the monster that they've been training all the terrorists is wapo um boko haramo fulani has men all these people now have has grown them you can see that they are no longer wearing a listen a rag they are wearing military uniform now. Yes, sir. Okay, so they have their 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 own um their soldier on their own. Yeah, most of their governors now are living in Abuja. No more in their states. Okay, I have stumbled on a video where I saw the prosperity of the north when Nigeria had confederation. The prosperity of the north, if that was if that uh, pace was uh, uh, stable, stable to this team. very moment, hmm. eh? the North will be, will, be, will be greater than Dubai that we are talking about. Dubai, which day did they start their development? Now, Just 15 years back. So that people 15 should years, that UAE 15 didn't years have back. Until 1991. Yes, Dubai was a desert, complete hmm. desert. Or even the ocean that they brought there, everything is at Trisha. These are the people that have oil, not just the way Nigeria have. And Nigeria has oil is one of the best in the world. Okay? So Ludo has told them they, there is no longer, there is no more money for crude oil because it has been sold 50 years, 30 years. So even the North know now that their people are beginning to realize that they crude oil that the elite are depending on has been sold by few individuals and put in their pocket. So what remains for them now is this hunger for everybody. You understand? The reason why I even called tonight is to pinpoint this uh, criminal that is always hiding. I don't know the reason why somebody who is a troublemaker, they will bring the person to come and make peace. I don't, is that Nigeria uh, equation or mathematics? You can't just understand. You see this Abdul Salam, uh, eh? who wrote a terrorist constitution, uh, a troublemaker that put everybody in this mess, eh? that hide everybody. For this, this that constitution, when the uh, civilian came in, all these criminal that came from uh, Chicago, they saw that is ju is a juicy is a ju juicy con a constitution that they can use to cage everybody. They that's the reason why they 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 they, 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 they hold on to it. They know that that constitution is faulty, completely faulty. These are the same man that gave Nigeria the, the the constitution that brought about terrorism, brought about all this kind of uh, hunger and death uh, death in the land. This is the person when they are Nigeria is holding an election, they will come and call to come and be a peacemaker. Yeah. I salute Obaseke for rejecting that for the first time. Me too. What's or, the purpose? What's the purpose of any peace accord? That uh, after they kill and name people eh, and declare the, anybody winner, right? Abdul Salami and Co., they will disappear until four years the, later again. Exactly. Another peace accord. Exactly. <laughs> you know? So, Thank God you pinpoint it today. You 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 clearly expose them, including this uh, Koka, the one they are called Koka, that uh, reverend. This guy was there when they killed the Christian uh, association leader in the north. They they killed him. All those uh, full enhancement terrorists. What did he say? Did he come out to uh, make any uh, 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 statement? of, a, of a, a, a strong statement against that killing. No. And all the Christians, they have been massacred in the north. What, what You saw the other one the other day, the village that there was cleared. That is a Christian community. You can see all those people that are on the ground there. No one is putting on Danchiki. 
they are putting on normal t-shirts. You understand? They don't dress like uh, like Muslims. If you look at that video closely again, you observe what I'm telling you. Yeah, it's Christian community that was massacred. What did the, that man come out to say? What is his name? Coca. He never come out. Yeah, right. He's coming to do peace accord with uh, with the criminal Abu Salam. Yeah? You see? So we have continued. Omayegu, you are doing a great job. For those that know they are doing a great job, if people can pay to watch your program, right. that means you are doing wonderful. Thank you are wonderfully well. Okay? Thanks. So we salute you and we, we encourage you continue to do your good work. Since uh, Nande Khan, who, who is an apostle, was away. You have been doing the pastoring work. You know, continue to your good work. God okay. bless you. And you too. And good night, Mr. everyone. Jamal. I know it's really yeah. good to hear from you and to I mean to hear from all of uh, you the uh, first time caller since I came back and it's really good to be back indeed okay thanks a lot Prince JJ man enjoy the rest of your own evening as well or the night to and you too Baba respect to you all Bye. You, man. you have a good one okay ladies and gentlemen that's uh, Prince JJ man and on that note we draw the curtains this evening somehow I have uh, started feeling like so I'm so sorry that uh, those who are still trying to call in, sorry we have overshoot our time. Tomorrow is another day. It doesn't matter if you don't have a chance of calling in tonight. Uh, whatever your contribution is, you may have a chance tomorrow. You can still say it. You can still share it. Right? Until then, good night. I 